Inside the oldest greenhouse in Omaha's oldest park, 80,000 plants are blooming and thriving. From the longest standing... This old boy is probably, he's over 100, well over 100. ...to seeds and sprouts. I'm trying to grow sod for the ball field that was renovated this past fall. Larry Shoup is one of five city employees working year-round. I'm going to tap it out of the pot. It's starting to grow its roots nicely. and I'm going to move it up into a bigger pot. In the spring, plants from this greenhouse at Hanscom Park go to about 300 city properties like this flower bed. Then come the fall, the plants that can survive and live on to produce more plants will then be uprooted and moved back into the greenhouse. It's a cycle that's helping the city go green. Plus, there's a system that's saving green. The sprinklers, the nine furnaces, the sensors. One of the ways we control the temperature in the greenhouse is with sensors like this. Each greenhouse will have four of them in different corners. While new technology is nice, this green team will always remember its roots. From the original greenhouse to the efforts since 1890, Omaha's Parks and Rec Director Brooke Bench is proud. It brings positivity and uh, you know, the more flowers and things that you have, it really beautifies the city. And I think that's important in our park system and throughout all of Omaha. As for these green thumbs, they'll stay busy. There's a lot to it. It's not just a, a lot of people can't grow plants. Near 32nd and Center, Chindone, KETV, Newswatch 7.